So now that I've actually unmuted my mic, let's try this again. This clip has been going around all weekend, and I have to talk about it because I find it absolutely ridiculously hilarious. And just in this article from Kotaku, Baldur's Gate 3 has everything polyamory, bear, bear sex, and blood sacrifice. And we're not talking about the, ba the bears you find in San Francisco. We're talking about pretty much it's a druid. It's a druid. So uh, <laughs> the jokes have been going around with bestiality, and this is going to be Chank Uger's favorite game. And I'm sorry, but the first thing I thought of was memories going back 30 years to my tabletop D&D game gaming days, where we had a druid in the party who would threaten other members of the party to turn into a bull and well. Let your imagination run wild on that. We were clowns. We were juvenile, immature, which most of the gaming tables are, if if you're having fun anyway. So just watching this squirrel drop drop his nut over and over again, I cannot handle the smile on the bear's face. Just the elf's face, and that's that right there. That is just it just but the article gets even better. So let's let's go. we scroll up. Come on. <laughs> You can only be offended by this. I'm sorry. I'm going to I'm going to say it. It's a joke. It's done for laughs. I am thoroughly excited because if if the druid is a an NPC in the game and the character he's climbing onto is your character, well, the internet, the gamers are going to go wild with this. You're going to have every clip imaginable of every race, every gender in the game with this clip just to show it off because people, gamers are immature. We all are, just like it or not, especially the guys. We're all immature little children who decided not to grow up. That's why we play games. So, all right, let's get on with the article. <laughs> If you've played Baldur's Gate 3 in Early Access, you've probably met Halcyn, the druid companion who can transform into a bear. Bear? <laughs> that you can recruit as a party member. He's also a romance option. And that transformation comes into play when you're getting down and dirty with him. I can't take this seriously. Oh my god. And I was not prepared. I don't think anybody was prepared. No one's prepared for that. You know, like the Spanish Inquisition. During the showcase... Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> the scene would go... I'm going to be calm. Calm down. Where the scene would go when Larian Studios showcased it during its final Panel from Hell presentation. During the showcase, the team specifically highlighted romance, showcasing specific scenes, as well as talking about how these relationships will unfold over the course of the very long RPG. There are multiple romance options, and each love story will take you down different paths. Some storylines will feature or allow for polyamory, yay. Others may have unhappy endings. Of course they do. They wouldn't be good if they didn't have unhappy endings gotta have a mix of all that stuff it's an rpg uh and he's like an end with you being so <laughs> sacrificed to a demon but those are broad strokes the notable part of the presentation were were two scenes larian showed off during the show uh first one blah 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 i want to get on to the funny one um stream took a hard left turn when it pivoted to the romance option with halson the exchange starts normal enough the player controlling the vampire okay Vampire, oh wait, so you can't create your own character? You have to pick between particular characters? I don't know anything, I don't know much about Baldur's Gate 3 right now. I've been ignoring everything about it until I can actually get a computer that'll run the damn thing. So, I played the first two Baldur's Gates. I will be playing this one some way, shape, or form come hella high water. Yep, I said that. Uh, approach his house in, in a discreet area of the woods. Not so discreet, the squirrel was watching. He was, he dropped his nut. That's another joke. That had to be an intentional joke. This whole scene was intentional. That's how you know, I, that's how I believe, you gotta figure, the guys working on this game, they play D&D in some way, shape, or form because uh, that scene can only come about, well, there's other ways. It, <laughs> one way it can come about is with a juvenile group of players who have been gaming for a long time and have no problem ripping into each other in one way, shape, or form. 
So yeah, that gives me a little, I guess. Uh, oh, and there and Larian Studios' uh, past games also gives me hope for the game. Where the hell was I? I th as things start to get hot and heavy, he strips, and things seem to take their natural course. Then Halsin loses control of himself and transforms into a bear. He quickly reverts to his human form and apologizes. Something sometimes this happens when he's giving in to his base desires. Now, what happens after that is funny as fucking hell. Depending on the dialogue choices you make, you break things off, yada yada. Uh, or you can tell him you like it. So it's something the player has to actually choose, which is probably good for the more prudish people out there. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but hey, I'm not all that prudish. I'm a child. I'm so goddamn juvenile. I make jokes about everything. And I'm sorry, given the option, <laughs> I would have to just to see where it goes. It's one of those things where you think to yourself, oh my god, are they actually going to do this? Are they really going to push the envelope that far? Yes, they did. And I would probably wet myself laughing over it. But the funny part, let's see. Took some... <laughs> okay. Uh, da, da, da. During the presentation, Larian was letting the live audience make decisions for the dialogue they would pick and demonstrate on stream. That stream got actually canceled on Twitch? Twitter? Yeah, they got banned from Twitter because of it. That's funny. And they found the bear form tantalizing and encouraged Halson and encouraged Halson to turn back into the bear. It took some persuasion, and Halson said, size might be a concern. Holy Jesus. I just don't know. During the, at the end of the presentation, during the Collector's Edition unboxing, studio founder Swen Vinky informed the room the scene got the studio banned on TikTok. Now that, how do you get banned on TikTok? The things you see on TikTok are just absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to leave this, this lovely little scene up. Let it burn into your mind. It makes me wonder, what else are you going to be able to do in this game? Have sex with a shape-changing druid. My goodness. The Puritans are probably losing their shit. The furries are rejoicing. And Chank Uger is probably already dropping his money on the collector's edition of this game. But let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> be civil. Be nice. <laughs> be juvenile. But <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. I appreciate you making it this far. I cannot keep a straight face with this. Have a good one.